Well, I'll tell you what, my mate fell, man, he's ugly. They broke the mould when they made him. In fact, I think they've made him in a broken mould. <laughs> but next up is this fabulously clean Honda ST1100M, pan-European, stock number 57073. Now this bike looks like it's been in some kind of time bubble. I mean, look at it, the condition, it's just fantastic. It was registered on the 10th of March 1993 to the first of its five owners, and between the five of them, they've covered 55,049 miles. Now the bike's taxed until uh, the end of May, sorry, taxed until the end of April 2010, and it's MOT'd until May the 31st, 2010. So a quick service, all part of our comprehensive on the road package, and this one is ready to rock and roll. So let's have a look around the bike, yeah? Well, there you go, folks. There's the logo, and there's the bike. And this one is very, very clean indeed. As I said before, there's a tiny bit of surface rust on the disc there, and one or two of the fasteners and fittings have got a bit of light rust on, but uh, the bodywork is bordering immaculate, unblemished. So let's have a glance around. This is the uh, non-ABS, the standard bike. They did do two versions. ST1100, pan-European. And uh, it was designed as, and always has been, a luxury touring bike, almost a sports tourer. All the uh, organisations that do lots and lots of miles, like the police, ambulance service, AARAC, they all used this bike. They all used the ST1100. It's got legendary reliability. It's got a big 28 litre fuel tank, so the fuel range is brilliant. You can see the panniers there. These are detachable panniers. It's just fantastic. The bike itself is a superb bike, and this is a superb example. So, let's have a listen at that engine. Well, there you go, folks. That's the view inside the uh, cockpit, if you like, of this. ST1100 Pan-European and now super silky smooth well there it is people that's a 1084cc V4 4 cylinder double overhead cam 16 valve liquid cooled 5 speed gearbox shaft driven gem of a motor Well, that's producing about 100 brake horse at 7,500 RPM, and it's pushing this 312 kilo armchair tourer up to a top speed of just over 130 mile an hour. Fantastic! Superb. Well, as clean as this bike is, I think it'll benefit from a quick dust-off by D. Hmm, <laughs> what do you say?